Well, welcome everybody to week three of the online program for the alumni of the Sunshine Coast Health Center here in Powell River, British Columbia. And this month, May, we're talking about connecting with others. And this is week three. So, obviously, at some point we have to talk about dating. Connecting with another at an intimate level. And just to warn you, I'm going to be heterosexual here, okay? So ideally, well, in a Reader's Digest kind of way, the idea of connecting with someone at an intimate level is, I love you for who you are as a person. Okay, that's the basic idea. I love you because you are different than I am, and that difference, the way you make sense of things, is what appeals to me. Okay, so in this very simplified uh, way of looking at things, that would be a good way of connecting intimately uh, with another person. But a lot of people in early recovery, they don't do that, right? <laughs> One of the more famous examples uh, is uh, 13 stepping, right? This is from the 12 step program, very famous in the 13 stepping. Uh, do you remember that uh, movie uh, with Gary Shandling, uh, What Planet Are You From, right? So the mission of these aliens is to impregnate Earth women. So Gary Shandling uh, ends up on Earth and he has got to find a woman to impregnate. So I think the first place or the second place he goes to is an AA meeting because it's kind of easy. That's the 13th stepping kind of idea. So 13 stepping basically is I'm going to get all groomed up and look nice and uh, there's going to be some vulnerable woman with, you know, like three days of recovery. And all I have to do is look like I know what I'm talking about and then I can help her out, right? She'll be so impressed by this, right? And by the way, uh, I know a counselor who, uh, uh, her clientele are all women. And she tell who are women addicts, and she tells me the toughest things that she has to help them understand is that their method for getting recovery doesn't work very well. And and again, not a hundred percent, but very often what their method is is that they're sort of waiting, sitting around, waiting for Prince Charming to go break down the door. And what she has to convince them of is they have to become the princess. And once they become the princess, then any number of Prince Charmings are going to end up at the door. But for this dynamic that happens in 13 stepping, it's of and being heterosexual about this and using myself as an example, it would be a, a young, vulnerable woman early in recovery, and I look like I know what I'm doing, and I'm there on the pretense I'm going to help her, and in fact, that's not really what I want to do. I just want to use her to satisfy, uh, to get rid of my loneliness or whatever. Okay. So it's a very bad way because it, it's, not, uh, it's not this concept of I'm, I'm treating this other human being as uh, a woman in her own right with different thoughts and different struggles and everything else. And that's what I care about. It's, so it's not a, a level playing field. It's I'm actually using her. I'm taking advantage of her to satisfy my own desires. Right? So that's why 13 stepping almost never works. In fact, I personally don't know of any instance where it did work, although I'm sure one or two must exist. But this idea of 13 stepping or of, uh, uh, and other instances where, you, where you're not connecting with a lover at a, on a level playing field, and generally speaking, all of these instances will be disasters. Another example, uh, Kathy, our family program director, comes up with the damsel in distress, right? So this is the tactic, I'll find the damsel in distress and I will rescue her. And in my own mind, I may be thinking like, oh, I'm just being, you know, the knight in shining army and I'm, you know, I'm helping out another human being and all that and stuff. But when we talk to the fellows about this, it's interesting how they, uh, you know, what really comes out and very often, a bottom line would be something along the lines of, well, I feel so bad about myself that only someone who's really troubled could even care about me. I would never in a million years be able to get a healthy woman because, you know, I'm a piece of dirt. Very often that's at the root of the rescuing. It's, it's a tactic. I'm going to use another person to feel good about myself. 
And again, not a level playing field, right? So it goes against that whole principle of uh, successful relationships. And uh, another one that I wrote about in the online program is uh, this concept, uh, a remarkable number of people do this, is that they will go out with someone, not because they particularly like the person, but because the other person's attractive. And they like to show them off in public and have all these people look at them. And by looking at their date, they feel good about themselves, right? So again, not a level playing field, right? And I, and I know this one, I have lots of experience with it. Now, how many uh, women have uh, taken me out just to show me out in public? I think it's unbelievable. Anyway, the connection with uh, uh, dating. So, when, so the idea of connecting at an intimate level is similar to what we talked about last week, is to look at the person as a human being and how they make sense of the world. And then if that's appealing to you, then that's why you would care about something. So you don't, so you go, you don't go into a relationship, well, here's someone, so my job is to change them. That rarely works. Or here's someone, uh, they're all nice, uh, and then the honeymoon period's over, and now all these things I thought were cute are really irritating the hell out of me, so they have to change. Right? That's not what this deep connection is all about. This deep connection is about a caring for this person despite all their flaws and warts and everything else, and to care for them at an equal level, right? and to care for the way they think about things, and even if those things are different than, than what I believe. But that doesn't matter because I care for them because they are different. And yeah, we'll have some squabbles, but no big deal, right? Anyway, uh, very simplified, but you know, again, give you this idea of connecting with others and to connect at a human level. So we'll be back next week uh, with the last of our May series.